We want to head over to the Cajon Pass now, where it's been raining consistently since early this afternoon. And that's where we find KCAL News reporter Lori Posen. She's live in feeling overlooking the 15 freeway. And Lauren, you've been in the rain all day. I mean, it's been raining every time that we've come to you. It hasn't stopped, Pat, at all. And mm. we were, Anna and I were talking earlier about this rain. Our photographer, it's not that it's heavy. It's just that there's so much of it, and it's they're like really thick raindrops. So it doesn't take much for you to get drenched in it uh, just by sitting outside for a couple minutes. Because, again, this rain is just, it hasn't let up at all. And for me, at least, it doesn't feel as humid as it did when we first got here at 1.30. To me, it's feeling a little bit cooler, and there's a slight breeze in the air. Definitely not a high wind or anything, but it's getting a little bit cooler. Let's take a look at the Cajon Pass behind us here. I want you to look uh, specifically going uh, southbound. You can see how the cars are slowing down there, and that is because th there's water on the road. There's some pounding on, a a ponding on the road there, and they're just warning drivers. Some of them have their um, hazards on, you know, hey, slow down. There's water on the road here, and this is something we're going to continue to see as the hours go by here. Because again, this rain just won't stop. One of the big concerns too, as this rain continues, is visibility gets tricky and difficult. And you can see around the corner there, it's hard uh, to see what's coming. So that's one of the dangers when these storms happen because you just can't see what's in front of you. In terms of other issues on the Cajon Pass, we haven't heard of, of anything major with the exception of what's going on in Barstow. That happened at 11 o'clock this morning. Barstow at L and the I-15 near L Street is closed still because what happened was lightning hit a transformer. That transformer set the electric pole on fire and it fell down into the road there. So there's electrical wires hanging down and Caltrans has that portion of the road closed off. No word on when that section is going to reopen. Talking about flooding here, that's a huge concern. We've been keeping close tabs on Victorville. It's just about 18 miles north of where we are. Local flooding there happening as well. Nothing too serious, but officials there are encouraging everyone, like, really happen all day long. If you don't need to be out, just stay home because these roads, th there's nowhere for this water to go at this point. We're also uh, keeping a close eye on what's going on for the schools up in this area. I haven't been able um, to connect with anyone quite yet if school will still be a go for tomorrow. So I'm hoping to have an update for you in our six o'clock hour on that. But for now, we'll just send it back to you. It's just, it's still raining. Pat and Juan, back to you. <laughs> yeah, we see it. Thank you so much for that, Lauren.